Here at Cimarron, we use lots of different math tools to help students visualize their thinking. And one of those tools that's very, very simple but very powerful is a hundreds chart, like this one right here. A hundreds chart is a great way for students to discover number patterns, count, and much more. It will help children see relationships and patterns between the numbers 1 to 100. Your child sees a hundred chart a few different ways here at school. Here's like an individual hundred chart, like I showed you here. We also have an interactive hundreds chart, and then as well, we might have a poster like this. On the iPad or on the smart board, we may have interactive games. And then on other ways, we have puzzles where students have to reconstruct a hundreds chart. Now, you may ask, what is a hundred chart good for? Well, obviously, a hundreds chart is really great for counting, but it's really important that when your child uses a hundreds chart to count to a hundred, they touch each number. Even if your child can rote count to one hundred, it's really important for them still to go and count by touching like one, two, three, four, because as they do this, they will discover patterns and see numbers in a way that they may not see before. They might discover, oh hey, all of the numbers on this column, they all have a zero in the ones place. Oh, and all of these on this line, they have a one in the tenth place except for twenty. That's interesting. So they can discover patterns on their own. Hundreds charts are really good for them to skip count when they start skip counting by twos or fives or tens because they can see that those numbers develop a pattern. If you color in all when you count to ten, you have this all filled in. They get really excited by finding those patterns. Not only is a hundred chart good for um, counting, but it's also really good for adding and subtracting. For example, if I give them the problem, you know what, we have 20 friends in our class, but only 18 of us are here today. How many friends are not here? We can help by locating the 18 and the 20 on the number line, and then counting the spaces, the jumps, it takes us to get to 20. So if we have 18, then we go 19, 20, 1, 2. The difference between 18 and 20 is 2, so 2 friends are not here today. Um, it also can be used to subtract. If there were 15 kids and three went home sick, one, two, three, how many are left? They can get to 12. Another way we use it is writing numbers. Sometimes students may get confused with the number 12. Is the one first or is the two first or is it the two or the one? They can go back and, and on their own without having to ask a friend or ask a teacher, they can go and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh look, there it is. I can write it. Um, a hundred, using the hundred chart in all of these ways and playing games with them really helps them learn how to calculate mentally and really set that foundation. Because when we work with a hundred chart all the time, we want them to be able to start visualizing this in the head without looking at the hundreds chart. It'll, now, so it allows for the discovery of patterns and relationships between numbers. And like I said, the main focus is to help students visualize, which would improve their ability to calculate mentally, which will help them when they go to the upper grades. So thank you so much for working with your child at home, and thanks for tuning in for this video about the hundreds chart.